back to Perks Recap, back at it once again. Hopefully you joined us for Toto, the album reaction, the album called Turn Back, Part 1 and Part 2. Hopefully you joined that, and now you're here for Part 3. If not, go in the description. The links for Part 1 and Part 2 and Part 3 are all going to be in there, so you can check those out and then maybe rejoin us back up uh, when you catch up. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this album. I think I'm going to download the entire thing. That's what's been happening with the other Toto albums that I've reacted to. Probably going to do the exact same thing here. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Um, you know, it, even if these three songs, but these are the last three songs, that part three is going to be the last three songs on the album, even if they're not that good, the album as a whole is good. Like, I have a measuring stick in my mind. If there's like nine or ten songs on an album, and I like half of them, that's a successful album for me. I mean, I think we've all done it where we, we hear a song, we buy an album or a CD or whatever the case was back in the day, and you buy the whole thing, and the only song you like is the one that was on the radio when nothing else on there is any good. That's not the case here. I have five solid songs that I really, really like, and that's a big success for me um, for, for an album, absolutely. And this is right up there. But, you know, I'm probably going to like these three anyway. But I'm just saying, uh, the worst case scenario, I still got four or five good ones out of this. Anyway, I've definitely babbled on long enough. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And let's get started. The first song for this last part here is I Think I Think I Could Stand You Forever. That's an interesting title. All right, let's get to it. Would you say no if I asked you for your hand? Could you believe in the same words that I don't? understand And would you cry if I told you I must go solo
all that talk about oh maybe I, you know I'll just be lukewarm on these three songs and uh, but I still like the album as a whole because the, the first four or five were really good. Uh, no, this one is excellent, so well done. I don't think I mentioned um, that one was written by Paige and sung by Lukather. Another one vocalized by Lukather. Um, the vocals were fine, but I just I like the acoustic guitar at the beginning. Uh, it's another one. It's the second one. I think a million miles away was the other one where it kind of starts out slow. It's almost like a ballad, and then the the um, the chorus comes in and it jumps up, ramps up the intensity, and uh, just really well done, obviously. And then it comes back down again, and it's kind of slow again for the for the regular uh, verses. But they did that a few times in this one. But the guitar, once the guitar came in. Just so, so good. We got a full-on solo, and then at the end, where everything was playing, it wasn't a solo, because uh, no, nobody was laying out for him or anything, but if you were paying attention to the guitar at the end, just absolutely stellar. So, so good. I say absolutely, and I say stellar quite a bit. I, I understand that. Somebody uh, pointed out to me, I'm going to try not to do it as much, but anyway, it was stellar, just so you know, and it was absolutely stellar. All right, the next one here is Turn Back. That's the album title. This song here, written by Kimball and Lukather, and this one is sung by Kimball. Um, I'm assuming there's not going to be an ad because there hasn't been one yet. Let's continue. Oh, see? Look what I did. I did this again. This is the second time I've done this. Had them on backwards. Pressing a button that's not there. Alright, here we go.
All righty. Well, that one was solid. It was a, it was a pretty good song. I will say that not one of my favorites on the album, really. Um, but the guitar work was good. And I, you know what I also noticed is they're really good at bringing up the chorus and make having a, just a catchy, catchy chorus. Every time the chorus comes in, they change the pace a little bit. And it's always well done. It's always it's always pretty catchy. I, I've noticed that this one the same thing when when the you know they were started saying turn back the way the guitar was things changed. It was still well done and it's still a good song, solid. Like I said though, there's some other ones on here that I definitely like a little more, but this one is not something that's going to make me not download the album like I was saying before. Definitely still going to do that. Um, we have. If it's the last night, that's the name of this last song. This is the last song, uh, written by Paige, sung by Lukather. Um, the last one was um, sung by Kimmel. Turn back was sung by Kimmel. All right, so this should be the last one, or this will be the last one, and let's get to it. Hopefully, there's no ad. No, we're good. Interesting start.
like that. All right, there you have it. Um, let's just expand that again. Um, that one was another really good one. The thing that stood out to me the most in that, the piano, it was just so well done. I really like a piano. That, that was just excellent. Um, I, I enjoyed the last one just as much as some of the other ones for sure. And um, this one is another album that I definitely will be downloading. I'll come back with a quick close and that'll finish this one up. There you have it. That is it. We have completed the album reaction. Another another winner. Another great one. Turn Back was the name of the album. We're going to do Toto 4 next. That'll be the next album reaction we do. We'll probably get to that next week. Um, hopefully you join me for all three parts. If not, don't forget the links are in the description. My information for Venmo and PayPal if you'd like to donate is in there. And of course, all my information for my social media and my podcast. And if you want to be on the podcast, just shoot me an email either through my channel email here or my podcast email, which is perkspod at gmail.com. Either one, I'll get it, and uh, we can set up a time for you to be on the podcast. And we're going to have Steven on um, probably within the next couple weeks, and we're going to talk about some Moody Blues and the Moody Blues albums I reacted to and uh, where, where we think they uh, they rank in some sort of an order, I think, is what we're going to, uh, the angle we're going to take with that podcast. And don't forget, my NFL content is on there as well. Uh, it comes out every Wednesday, should be out later today. Like I said before, in the last one, we are having a little bit of technical problems, so it might be delayed by a day or so, but either way, we'll get that NFL content out to you like we do every single week. Um, another winner, like I said, another one where I went in thinking I'll download maybe a couple songs, and once again, I'm going to download the entire album because I liked it that much. So, well done. This is the third straight one I've done, third time in a row that I've downloaded the entire album. Anyway, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as me. I want to thank Steven once again for the donation and the suggestion. And until next time, I will see you later.